All right, so here uh, we got all the stuff we need to do uh, to test the button out on the Maker Shield. What you're going to first do is um, connect your shield to your Arduino board. Uh, make sure all your pins are lined up. This is why it was so important to make sure your header pins were lined up whenever you soldered them on so it's easier to put them in. Mine isn't perfect. Alright, so that's in. And now what you're going to do is you're going to use this 10K ohm resistor, which is, I think, brown, black, orange. Yeah, brown, black, orange, gold. Uh, it's not polarized, so it doesn't matter which way you stick it in. Um, but you're going to stick it into the uh, 5 volt pin and just put it into one of the holes adjacent on the mini breadboard like so alright and then all that's doing is giving the the board something um, giving it something to sense uh, it would be better if you were to clip the leads and make it shorter but I'm just going to bend it over for now um, and it would be nice if you had some shorter jumper wires that way it wouldn't be getting in your way but since we only have three here it's not that big of a deal uh, we're going to take one of these jumper wires and one end we're going to stick it in the one above the resistor and then take that one and stick it into um, button one right there Alright, now grab another jumper wire and um, we're going to take this one from another slot behind that, still on the same line, and we're going to take that one to digital pin 2, like so, easy enough. Um, this is the wire that's going to let the Arduino be able to detect when the button is pressed. Um, we'll, you'll see it in the code. I'll explain it to you in the code. And then for the last one, we're going to take this last jumper wire and put it in the LED, um, the LED pin here and bring that up to digital pin 13. And that's the pin that we know uses the onboard LED. So um, that's it. We're going to use this button and this LED. Um, as you can see on here, whatever LED pin you stick it in is the light that's going to turn on. So this is LED 1, you stick it in LED 1, that's the one that's going to go off. If you were to take this and put it in LED 2, LED 2 would go off. So. Uh, we're just going to use LED1 and let's code it up and we'll get it to run. Alright, here we go. The For the button, for the this button project, um, all you really need to do is locate the example sketch that Arduino has already provided us and run it. But I'll go through the code to uh, kind of explain it. And so you're going you're gonna to find this this example sketch under digital and button and so in here it it's a, it's a really nice it's a really nice example it has a lot of um, a lot of code commented out that way it explains what everything's doing and um, why that codes there and it even actually has a little section where it tells you how the circuits set up which is pretty nice uh, most example, most example code doesn't have that, and um, it'd be a good idea to actually do that for your own code. All right, so here at the top of the program here, the sketch, um, we have two constant in integers variables um, that just all this does right here is tells tells Arduino that this pin or this variable is not going to change. Um, constants don't change, um, but this one here, this variable button state is going to change. It's going to be 
it's going to test um, whether or not the button's pushed. It's going to give us the status of um, the button being pushed. All right, so this, these are setting up the two pins. We're just setting up the integers or the variables for the two pins on the board, and then this one is going to read the status of the button push. So inside your void setup, we're going to need to set up the LED as an output and the button as an input. And the way you do that, um, the same as before, you're going to use this command pin mode, um, decide which pin you want to set as the output. In our case, it's going to be pin 13 um, or the variable LED pin and set it as an output. And of course, like always, make sure your syntax is correct, otherwise it's going to come up with errors and you're going to need to debug. And then the next one is the same thing. Um, you're just going to be setting button pin, um, which is 2, as an input. And then for the loop, um, we're going to have a couple if statements, or one if statement, one if else statement, and um, a changing variable. So up here we set button state Oh, excuse me. Up here we set button state to zero, and inside the loop we are setting it to whatever the digital read on button pin is. So if button pin is um, high or low, if it's on or off, um, it's going to put that um, that integer into um, button state. So if it's one or zero, it's going to put that into button state. And so one is high, one is equal to, or yeah, one is equal to high and zero is equal to low. So if button state is equal to one or high um, or pressed, then turn on the turn on the LED. So the way you're going to turn it on. Like before, you use digital write, you use the digital write command and what, what pin that we want, um, and then set it to high. Uh, if it's not, or else, if else, then turn the LED off. So it's going to keep running through this, and once, once the button is pressed, it's going to turn it on. If else, or if not, then turn it off. If it's already off, it'll just stay off. And it will keep running, testing for the button to be pushed indefinitely. And so let's run this, see if we can get it to work.